Hey guys. Hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Making this video tonight. Hopefully you guys can come along for the ride. This is your boy Sirius at Sirius Center Temple Spiritual Network. And we're starting off season three with a particular video that was gonna be made around this time now and concerns to what is going on in the world right now and why I believe it is imperative that we all understand what exactly is going on in our world there's a lot of information coming out now there's a lot of confusion going on there's a lot of information that's not being told you have people watching mainstream news and mainstream media and they believe that yet yet again that the television and mainstream media is telling them 100% whole truth when this is fiction this is this is just simply not true they're only giving you 10% of what's going on and the other 90% they're holding back on because they know the powers that be that are in control of your news stations they know that if the truth ever got out it would create a widespread global hysteria it would create all kinds of problems and the world that we know in today's time the entire world would shift right after the information was leaked out and the whole world would never be the same again we now have reached 2020 which basically means perfect vision and in this time frame the veil is being uplifted and that is your time frame of apocalypse an apocalypse is not necessarily the end of all things you misunderstand because you don't understand what the meaning of the word is Apoko, lipsis, in, well, in the Greek, in Greek, basically meant the uplifting of the veil. When you understand that the world that we live in, the matrix system in which we live in, it is basically a construct or a veil over our eyes that way we cannot see the construct basically was used as a means to an end but this means to whichever end wasn't meant for the individuals who actually belong to this soil that we live on here today what am I trying to say Basically, I'm trying to say that for many people in this world, they don't understand what is really happening. They allow the news media. They allow what they see on their phones. They allow what everyone else is talking about. They allow whatever they see in the, you know, in the newspaper. They allow these things to take up the mass majority of the space inside their minds and therefore they become like robots or like mindless zombies or slaves to the system because they can't therefore think for themselves and they don't understand that this world has ancient mysteries all kinds of ancient civilizations all kinds of land masses that are under the ocean waters that are coming up now with all the earthquakes that have been happening and still much more to go they talk to you about how 2020 is going to be a brand new year and you know everything's just going to be a-okay and now people are starting to see that this is in fact a lie now they're starting to see that war is on the way 
people are talking about your little World War Three thing going on, and that you know this guy killed this guy, and that's why this is happening. And you know everyone's now afraid, and now everyone's terrified, and they're watching the news, and they see the the, the embassy being attacked, and fire and smoke everywhere, and everyone's going into mass hysteria. And I t and I am here to tell you guys that a lot of the information that is being given to the mass majority of people that is out here is false. You see here, says your 2020 Aurora Borealis, the magnificent northern lights. What does that have to do with what we're talking about here today on Sirius Inner Temple? Actually, a lot more than what you think. This is going to be a two-hour video. Two-hour long video, per se. And I hope I can take you along for the ride. And I hope you, at the end of this video, have a more... How would you say... A, a greater scope or a more broader idea of what's going on in our world you you've actually learned a little something off of this video today I have a lot to say there's a lot that concerns me and for those that may not understand many things I'm going to be explaining a lot on this on this video here and you know I, I need I need your patience, your cooperation, and I need your time. I hope I ha can have your undivided attention for this video. This will be a long one. So, before we start with everything, people go online. People start getting curious. They start seeing things are not always what they seem. And then you get some information here. Then you get some information over there. Then you get some more information off of this channel and off of somebody else's channel. And where everyone's so desperate to find out what exactly the truth is, what is going on, and how is it going to affect us for the greater good or for the greater, uh, uh, you could say, the, the most negative side of whatever you could possibly think in your head. Whatever you can possibly concoct inside your mind. What is this all for? What does it mean at the end of the day? What is going on? Is 2020 going to be the best year yet? Will it be the end of all things? Is war coming? What's happening? Well, first I'd like to start off with this. When information is being given by individuals who know a lot more than your average folks constantly watching videos out here, you have to understand that a lot of the individuals that are giving out this information are in connection with a higher force. When you meditate, like I've been telling people to do, you will eventually come in connection with that higher force. It's, it's within all of us for the most part. Beings of nature. It is really your duty to find a way to connect to that force, to be updated with information. And this information, is it, it is because the reason why we can download this information in ourselves is because we are organic machines in consciousness. We are creator beings in consciousness. We are organic machines, and this is why we can learn the way that we do. Now, understand this. Dark matter, the, 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 the gas-like infinite space that's in our cosmos, this energy, this primordial energy, moves beyond a scope of 360 degrees. It moves far beyond that. And with an energy that's constantly moving in different forms of existence, this energy is the life giver to all realities. 
an energy that th that's of this magnitude, when dealing with an energy like this, a being that was created from this energy is going to be psychic because they were created by an energy that goes beyond all of all of existence, really, if, 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 for lack of better words. Tapping into this in infinite energy, what a psychic being would realize is that there are infinite realities, and in these infinite realities, the future is always subjective because it can always change due to what you may do now or what you may not do later. What we do as beings impacts our reality. And what you may or may not do may cause a certain shift in what's going on in the world today. We all have an impact in our futures and our and our destiny. We all have an impact on what's going to happen today or what's going to happen tomorrow. It may be little. It may be huge. It may be a small impact. It may be a large impact. But the difference is, is that whatever you do today will influence it will somehow influence tomorrow which you may not do today may influence tomorrow we are the creators in shape in shape uh, in shape builders or, or frame makers of our own destinies but at the same time we don't have full control over our futures but taking a little bit of control through tapping into this infinite dark matter energy just just that little bit of control in the end will mean a whole lot because you are tapping into the infinite and this is where your aurora borealis plays in See, people don't understand. There was videos leaked online a few months back where you had these people in, 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 in Iran and certain places in the Middle East and you had these orc individuals, these uh, what you refer to as your mankind. You had these individuals, you had these um, certain military factions trying to shoot down a UFO or an, an un, un, unidentified object. And they were trying to shoot this thing down. All kinds of bullets. All kinds of ammunition flying through the air. And no matter how hard they tried, this unidentified object simply would not go down. It, 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 it couldn't be touched no matter how much they shot at it. So this was they are dealing with a technology that goes far beyond their comprehension. You can't fight a force that's that's higher and greater than your very existence. You can't. You can only submit to it because it's greater than you. And that's what these orcs do not understand. They have no connection to this primordial energy. They have really no connection to it. And if they tried to connect to it, it would kill them. They wasn't born from it. They're simply just an amalgamated creation of different parts that was created in laboratories and they were just a freak experiment. And they can't grasp that. And they want to attack the beings of nature and try to subject them to enslavement, you know, all kinds of foul treatment, murder, and all, and all all the kinds of uh, abominations. People talk about how uh, this man, Donald Trump, how he got someone killed and he ordered some kind of assassination and got this this Selene guy, whatever his name is, I already forgot the guy's name. It's not important how he got this guy killed and whatever the case may be. And how people are going crazy and they're talking about they have military grade weapons and how they're going to 
bomb Dubai and how they're going to attack the United States. If, if the, um, the United States military factions and US, United States military forces do not leave uh, Iran or wherever the, wherever the situation may be. And I've been saying this for years. You have to read through the lines. If you did your research, you would know that all the individuals that are in control on this planet right now are all in bed with one another. They're all together. Your Kim Jong Un, uh, your Vladimir Putin, your Donald Trumps, your uh, Hillary Clintons, your Bill Clinton's, all these individuals, all these people are together. Even the Pope, your Vatican, your, your, your Queen Elizabeth. The Pope is the king of this system. He lets them know whether whatever they're going to do is what they're going to do. Your Rothschilds, your Rockefellers, your Wahlbergs, your Bernay Brit, your Rosicrucians, And all other extras. Your Sandbergs and all these other ones. They are a collective that are in control. And their goal is to pump out lies to the people. To turn them into sheep. So that they won't know what's going on in the world. So when bad things happen and take place, people won't know where to go. They won't know what to do. They won't even know whether to defend themselves or not because they simply allow the system to do all the thinking for them. This is very bad. Do I say worry about World War Three and what's coming? And to drive yourselves crazy about it and oh my goodness uh, uh, you should be very afraid and spread this energy of fear and all this no none of that is necessary this war is dealing with your beings of dark energy your angels your Anunnaki your Aurora, your Aurora Borealis plays a role into this these magnificent northern lights are supposed to be spreading across the entire planet. And because on this planet, the winter time that they talk about is not real. It's artificial. They use their weather machines that they, that they call cell phone towers. They use this and they try to block out the heat on the planet. And they try to make it cold for many reasons. Number one. They know that the sun is killing them, so they need to make artificial weather to keep everything cool so that they can survive. Because the atmosphere on this planet is killing them, which means they don't, they, they don't belong here. How can you live on a planet, call yourself native to the planet, but yet the atmosphere is killing you? That lets you know that you do not belong. If a being of carbon gets touched by the energy of the Aurora Borealis, with enough exposure to it, they will literally start to transform back into their soul form. The winter time on this planet is actually supposed to be the hottest time of the year. That is why they turn it cold the way they do. Yes, it's supposed to be the hottest time of the year. Carbon beings are beings that move off of the energy of fire for the most part. Beings of this nature, their machines move on the same type of energy wavelength. They move off of heat. So what happens when you have beings that open up portals through, through fire and heat? And you have other beings that are artificial, making the environment cold. 
they cannot properly interstellarly move around because the environment is way too cold and they can't use the heat in that environment to be able to move properly and the government knows this and they're underground right now trying their best to try to clone carbon-based people they're not only doing that they're actually trying to clone their own people they're trying to find food sources to survive on which is just mostly flesh for the most part and they're trying to find a way to survive but it's not going to work for them they're very much afraid in this time because that man that was killed on the news and they're talking about Donald Trump had him assassinated that's not what happened the United States well government they're taking they're taking matters into their own hands and they're basically they're taking credit for this man's death pinning it all on Donald Trump for the most part and saying that he had a hand in this assassination when it, in reality it is our carbon based brothers and sisters that are coming from the fifth into the fourth into the third and they're interacting with the beings in the third dimension because they keep moving interstellarly with these um, with these vehicles these aerial vehicles and they're attacking these armies and militaries and they're fighting against certain individuals you even have videos online that can prove what I'm telling you is the truth. I've even sent links to certain individuals in the past of people fighting against the uh, the higher beings that are coming. They're trying to fight against them, and what they fail to understand is you can't fight against something that's that's superior to you. You can't. It's impossible. It's a waste of time and energy. But these orcs will find that out in the end. That's why they're so afraid. And realistically, this um these uh these weather machines can only do so much eventually they will make it in here see right now our anunnaki our angelic beings are fighting against the government as of right now and they keep popping back into the third dimension see because they're in the fourth dimension and they keep popping back in into the third and that's why they're making it cold because they don't want them to pop in to different locations where there's a high population of people because if we start to see them game over we already know what's going on we're they're coming in contact with them very soon we're gonna the people that are in the inner cities are gonna start getting in contact with these higher Elohims and when this starts happening, we start getting in contact with them. We're going to be literally talking to them. They're going to be right in our faces. The immortal beings, advanced higher beings. We will also be shifting in this time frame as well. We will also be shifting into advanced forms. And we will forget everything that these evil ones have taught us in this system how to hate each other how to do each other wrong how to be disloyal to one another how to look down on one another how to hate our own image how to want to destroy and harm each other all the dysfunctional behavior all the messed up stuff they taught us all the, the, the problems that come from post-traumatic slave disorder. All the stuff that comes from slavery. All the crap that they taught you guys and damaged your minds while they tortured you and maimed you and hurt you. All of that which you guys learned that destroyed you will be completely, permanently wiped from your minds. And you will remember who you are. And that will mean the destruction of this system because we're going to come after these assholes. Believe that. See, when you think, and you start to wonder, how did things get this bad? Well, there's a lot of manipulation that went on. 
starting in your 1500s, there's a lot of manipulation that went on. Your Aurora Borealis plays a key role into all this. The reason why you guys can see it is because it means the electromagnetic field around the planet is lifting. And while that's lifting, there is a certain energy that is trying to come into the planet. And this energy is an energy a lot like fusion. It's an energy that is going to fuse with the soul that is inside the physical vehicle, the physical shell. And it's going to seep into you. And you will have literally no choice but but to be forced to change over. And with this change, you will become that who you were destined to be. This will mean the end of black people suffering. We must understand this. It will mean the end of so-called black people suffering. The same thing is going to happen to a lot of your Hispanics that are of carbon blood. The Hispanics that are not of carbon blood, like your Ecuadorians, your uh, Mexicans and all them, they will be excluded out of this because they have no carbon in their blood. They're not of nature. They have nothing to do with us. Your supreme abilities will be activated at 100% optimum usage. And the war will start. And the Elohims will go against and bat do battle and war against all the nations of beings that came here and came here to conquer the planet Tiamat. And they will all be wiped out and eliminated. Many will cry. Many will moan in tears. A lot of them will try to do all kinds of plea deals and try to save their own skin let's try to sacrifice their own but the Elohim will not care the Elohim only sees balance or, or imbalance and if you're not of balance you must be you must be removed out of the equation When I say that the Elohims had this man killed, that's exactly what happened. Your World War III is inevitable. It has to happen. When I told people, certain subscribers even, that this thing was going to start in your 2019, I was right. Leading into your 2020 now. Donald Trump is destined to be our final president. You're not going to have another one after him. The veil is lifting. And this is the time frame where everything will change. This is the curtain raiser. You guys will see what's behind the curtain. Enough is enough. Divine intervention. It is what's needed for our people to get back on top where they're supposed to be. All this that we have suffered in the back of our heads will be just like a really long nightmare that we had to suffer because when we look at each other it'll be like almost as if it never happened because our minds will be so repaired that it'll be like it, as if it almost never happened how amazing is that all these other beings will pay in the end we will track them down in their home worlds and make them pay we will we will 
throw a lake of fire upon them and drown them in it. Justice will be served. Retribution will be done. Will, will, will be done on this planet. And never again will they want to come here and create the problems that they did. They will pay for what their forefathers did. The Northern Lights are also a symbol of the end approaching, of the near final. Or, or should should you say the last partial piece of the puzzle the aurora borealis only shows up when it's around the time frame where the end of the end of an entire system is to be done away with This is why they were in Antarctica trying to figure out how to get into Inner Earth or Shambhala. And they're not allowed to, to, to even, they, they can't even attempt to do so. They had all kinds of, uh, all kinds of beings doing fracking and trying to burrow themselves underground to find a way to get into Shambhala and it, it didn't work for them because it has nothing to do with them. They're outside of their jurisdiction as beings. They're outside the red marginal line and can't understand that they are dealing with higher forces that they can never possibly understand. They are simply idiots running around in a circle and can't understand that they're going to get dealt with no matter what they do. This war is dealing with your Anunnaki's, your higher beings. And the beings that are here that are asleep and that are not asleep, the ones that are awake and not awake, will be shifting over. When we talk about dark matter energy, we talk about all kinds of scenarios that can possibly pl take place. When we talk about your possible zombie apocalypse, when we talk about, you know, you know, hell on earth, when we talk about, you know, archons rising, when we talk about, you know, all kinds of different possibilities that is simply dark matter at its finest because dark matter moves in the way that it does it doesn't move in just a linear line it, it, ha it moves in all directions and that is how we exist as carbon-based beings our existence moves in all directions we are not like the orcs they move in a linear line, and their linear line has an end. A straight line has to have an end. It can't go any further at a certain point. But a, a, but a, a line that, that's not really a line, it's, it is more like an energy that is constantly moving in many different directions. It, something like that has no end to it. The government knows what it's doing. They've been planning this for a very long time. They have all kinds of cyborgs. They have all kinds of sentinels underground, all kinds of machines they built to fight against us they have all kinds of monsters that they build in underground military bases and watery solutions that they've created they have all this stuff out here they have all kinds of things that they even attached human beings to machines to, 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 to be able to live forever and stuff like this they've done all this in attempts to go against nature because they they're not a part of nature and they did all this to try to, you know, thwart nature and try to destroy nature in the process.
trying to work with other life forms that came here trying to make deals with other kinds of demonic beings that want nothing more than to destroy all the people and all the souls that are on this planet making and then these demonic beings making deals with the demiurge yes your demiurge the one that had this plan from the very beginning All for all for not because their plans are being stifled. Yes. Our Anunnaki brethren assassinated that man and killed up a whole bunch of soldiers. Yes, they went to Africa and killed up all the Moroccan soldiers. They're still they're constantly popping up in different locations on the planet. Protecting and blocking the oil the oil fields protecting and, and blocking all kinds of different resources on the planet because the planet's not recreating resources in this moment in time because it's getting ready for war war time is, uh, is almost nearly upon us people and I really need our people to understand this this is not no joke this is not a game how do I know for sure you may ask because in my whole entire life, I have been dealing with this kind of subject matter. I have, I have dealt with demonic beings my entire life. I have seen that which most people would never even dream of seeing. I've experienced so much in my life. And I know that I am no liar. I simply speak the truth on this channel. A lot of people want hope, but what people don't understand is, is this. Do not be afraid of this World War III that they speak of. This World War III is inevitable. It's dealing with your Hopi prophecy, and it's what needs to happen. Be very happy that World War III is happening. Be very, you heard what I said, be very happy. Because this is dealing with your Anunnaki War. All the government factions are getting ready right now. Yes, your Iran and all these other individuals, your, your European Union and, and your, all your United Nations. That's why they have a United Nations for a reason. You know, these people come together and they're all together. And they're all dealing with one thing. How can we best utilize our positions to damage so-called black people even further to keep us to keep us on top of their on top of their necks and have them a slave to us in this system to have them as commodities for us to be able to utilize do you understand none of these so-called orcs are your friend and because these orcs are as evil as they are they pass their evil and hatred onto your onto your own species and now you have your own species hating on you so-called blacks hating on all their so-called blacks fighting over meager minute insignificant nonsense that means absolutely nothing And then thinking that in the end, after this is all over, you're not going to pay for it. You will. Every dog has its day. What we should be doing as individuals is meditating. I will be making more meditation videos to try to help you guys out. Clean up your diets, people. We have a whole lot of stuff coming our way this year before the eventual situation that needs to occur. Eventually, when we start coming in contact with these higher beings, eventually you're going to start seeing other planetary bodies in the skies. 
and you're going to start seeing their spaceships popping up everywhere. The news media, the news stations will not broadcast this. They're going to act like everything's completely fine while we're seeing what's going on. The government's obviously going to try to turn off all the the, the Wi-Fi, the connection, the, the electricity, all the all the all the stuff that you use today. In an attempt to try to prevent others from contacting each other and verifying that they're seeing the exact same thing in the skies but that's not that's not gonna help that's that's not gonna help uh, separate us as a people and by that time we will already know what's going on and I tell you guys do not fear the unknown because the unknown in this situation is your best friend the unknown is on your side because we come from the energy of the unknown the darkness the darkness is the most misunderstood thing in all of existence in all of creation the darkness is what gave life to everything for the most part in the first place the darkness owns everything the darkness is everything the darkness is the reason why light even exists long time ago I knew that this World War 3 would happen I even had some, some certain subscribers contact me and tell me man you was right you talked about this and now look what's happening they're actually talking about it look at what's going on and this and that and the third and I can't believe it you were right and all this well When you have an abundance of information and you know things are going to happen before it happens, when it's actually starting to happen now, it doesn't really surprise you. It just, it only confirms what you've been saying this whole time. None of this stuff surprises me. None of it does. It's just what's meant to happen. It's supposed to happen. None of it surprises me. It, it just confirms simply what I've been saying for about eight or nine years now. The Anunnaki war is is inevitable. This will be happening, whether regardless whatever you want to believe. It doesn't even matter what you want to think. And other species will be joining in on this war. We have many allies throughout the cosmos that are not spoken about. And this is why on this channel, on season one and season two, I talked all about this, as you can see. We are currently now on season three. And I just want to let you guys know, it's been great having you guys come up here. And you know, I have, I have a lot of fans on this channel. A lot of people love this stuff. They like to see me coming up here and do what I do. And to some extent, I enjoy it myself because it lets my mind go off on a little bit of ease knowing that, you know, I, I gave out some information and it really helped someone. I've had people that have been watching me since they, since they were in, in, in high school and stuff like this, you know. They, they grew up watching me, you know. And I was a part of their lives and that's why... When they finally meet me for the first time, you know, there's like almost like a nostalgic moment going on, you know. Why do I mention this? It is because when you have a lot of information being given out, a lot of times certain people may want to know certain things, but they don't know if this is a valid source or not and a lot of times you don't know what it is that is being spoken about but you know inside of you something is wrong and you know that there's something out there that you can't really put your your, your you can't really grasp you can't really put your finger on but you know 
that this curiosity that's in you is in you for a reason you want to know more so when you run into different channels and stuff like this you run into a lot of situations you run into a lot of disappointments you run into a lot of fraudulent activity going on with uh, certain people trying to teach and then after a while you start to believe that maybe this is all you know just a joke and it's not real and maybe I should just leave this alone so when I say I humbly thank all my supporters for coming along for the ride for, for, the, for this long and still being loyal subscribers and you know taking the time out of their day to come watch this stuff and learn a little bit I, I, I do I do I do very much appreciate that I do couldn't have done this all without without you guys at, at, at the end of the day couldn't have done all this without you guys I appreciate it yes there will be rockets and bombs going off screaming in the streets all kinds of fighting going on in the skies on the ground in the air all kinds of abilities being used all kinds of government factions trying to go underground the United States military the Asian government the Asian military, all kind of military factions going up against the beings that actually own this planet and they will all be annihilated. They are very much afraid in this time frame now here. They are very much afraid. All of the programs and all the spells are being set now into motion. In the end of this system is so close that we can we can we can practically taste it now you're hearing talks of war talks of warfare this is to let you guys know that the end is literally right around the corner in the end We will see that all of their efforts were in vain. We ha will have all kinds of beings that have been waiting patiently to come into this realm. You will have different beings coming off of different planets coming into this realm. We will have an, uh, a sm uh, an, uh, an ensemble of of different types of warriors from many different types of situations coming in here to clean house and all of the beings that did us wrong will pay dearly and will pay the ultimate price for what they have done on this planet and then every other planet that they've ever touched in the in 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 in, in, in this situation right now the best thing that you can do is be uh, is, is, is try to be in deep forms of meditation try to absorb that dark matter energy that flows it's around you you can't even see it but it's all around us They want to basically block out everything so that way you guys can stay a slave forever in this evil system. Everything that they're doing is going against nature. They have no right to be doing what they're doing. They're kidnapping children. They're doing all kinds of human trafficking. They're eating people. Not all of them, but... Hey, what difference does it make at this point, right?
they use money as a system to keep people in check and pe keep people under their thumb. They even put their system into a into a state where it's where it, the, the the dollar bill is literally turning into basically nothing they 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 they, 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 they the stock market is literally dropping they want to turn so-called black people into commodities and they want they want the system to literally become kaput and in a situation like that when you have your stock market drop and, and literally everything is up for grabs and the system is no longer running and the money means absolutely nothing anymore all you have is your chaos and ignorance going on they wanted to incite things like the purge having people running around killing people and that it's legalized and it doesn't matter you could just go running around kill whoever it is you want to kill These are the kind of sick things that twisted things that they want to do. Hmm? Oh, the whole while they're they're scheming and planning and plotting and wanting to do everyone on this planet dirty. They're stealing people's organs to live longer. Hell, they're eating your organs at the same time. The school systems teach us nothing but propaganda and nonsense and lies. I want you to believe their lies because it's an indoctrination system. Understand. Now, this Aurora Borealis, at one point, it was surrounding our entire planet. We felt this energy before. It made us immortal. Not only that, but it gave us an infinite amount of knowledge. There were certain spells. I spoke about this once before. There were certain spells that they put on our people. And they put these spells in our bodies. And when we reproduced, the children would have these spells or curses inside their bodies and it would keep going on generation after generation after generation damaging us as a people and some of our people our carbon-based blooded people are immune to spells and, and curses and stuff like that some of us are made that way some of us are impervious to it a lot of these curses and spells you have your magnetic sphere that's around the planet and it's being destroyed right now <laughs> in fact and um, this 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 sphere of energy is in place around the planet for the archons and the chitari and, and these other orc beings they all came together and tried to create a spell that would hold around the planet in order for them to have control over the planet, number one, for them to um, disguise a lot of what they look like. Some of them do look like regular orc beings, and some of them do have body parts that are not necessarily what you would call normal. <laughs> not all of these beings look like what you think they look like. A lot of them do, a lot of them don't. So you'd be surprised at what you would see. Some of them actually look like animals. Okay? Some of them actually look a certain way. That would creep you out a bit. Okay? And, and also to keep us down as people. They did all kinds of things like the injections in the hospitals when the children are born 
They come back understanding and knowing who they are. They come back with their past lives intact. They know who they are when they come in this realm, but then instantaneously get injected and then start to forget who they are. Hell, I remember when it happened to me. And it still didn't affect me like how they wanted it to. See? They try to trick you. They want to act, come off as if they're so they're so called all powerful and they are truly not. They're just deceivers and a bunch of devils. Eventually, see, right now, the Anunnaki War has already started, and a lot of the stuff that's in, over there happening right now is being destroyed as we speak. The Anunnaki warriors do not rest. When they are on a, a mission, they have an objective, they will carry it out. Eventually, they will be making their way here to the United States and everywhere else. And we will be coming in contact with them. This is inevitable. So prepare yourselves, people. This is why it is so important to be of a cosmic mindset. From my understanding, with the cosmos, what she wants to do is she wants to intervene and activate us in a way where we will become the almighty powerful beings that we once were. We need this, this kind of divine intervention because we have suffered greatly. We have suffered so much that now we look at each other as the enemy. A people that is this damaged could never uprise and try to overthrow the government. Okay? The way so-called black people are damaged in this time frame, there is no way y'all could get yourselves out of this mess. And this is why I say, for those that are unbelie that, that don't want to believe and have a problem understanding this kind of information and think this is all just spookism and don't understand anything, you, I don't expect you to because you're not, you're not connected to any of this. You're just not. You don't understand anything. All kinds of people right now are being slaughtered by our Anunnaki brethren. All kinds of individuals and part of their military factions are being slaughtered because there's certain areas around in Iran and stuff like this. They have their launch pads there. They're coming from the eastern side of the galaxy in the universe and they're coming into the into our planet Earth and they're making their way here and they are coming here to do battle and to fight eventually they will be making their their way here and see the thing is is when you see them you know what you're gonna see is gonna be very unexpected the kind of ships that you're gonna see I mean people are gonna be freaking out you know and you know the sky is gonna be changing up you're gonna be seeing all kinds of beings coming down your government is going to try to fight against them, and, and, and it's not going to work. They're, 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 their low-level uh, firearms are not going to do anything against these higher beings. It's, it's not going to do anything against them. It's, it's, it's literally useless, okay? You know, when, when you have a situation on the planet where you have all kinds of beings coming in to take over, and you already have these this 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 so-called virus on the planet that's trying to take over, and it started being to see that the the beings that it's been trying to take over they're not having it anymore, and they're coming after them. You know, 
They can't flee. They can't run. There's nothing they can do. They're literally prisoners on this planet now. And they're going to get what's coming to them, whether they like it or not. Their plans have been for, 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 have been have been completely destroyed. There's nothing that they can do. Your Illuminati is completely, practically out of power. <laughs> There's nothing they can do now. I've been saying this for a while now. They're pretty much out of juice now. They, there's not much that they can do, except create lies and nonsense, and talk all kinds of nonsense to have you guys believe it because you guys watch TV. See, thinking that you guys are going to have another election and this, this, this madness, this spiraling madness of confusion is going to keep going on and on and on and on and on and this energy of confusion is just gonna keep on going no 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 there is order in the cosmos for a reason and when you have an energy of confusion constantly trying to confuse those that are supposed to be of one of, of sound body sound mind the sound spirit or whatever the case may be this energy of confusion eventually has to die off somehow so these chitaris and these demons and these archons they might as well start creating uh, new orc beings <laughs> they might as well start creating new ones or whatever the case may be because the ones that are going to be here are going to completely get decimated and then we're going to go to their home world and then decimate them as well so you know what i'm saying it, it this 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 is a long time coming now you understand and uh Hell, it is what it is. At the same time, I wanted to make a two-hour long video. But, you know, at the same time, I don't think it needs to be two hours. You know, I've said mostly everything I wanted to say now. You know? I've said everything mostly I wanted to say now. I would say, I would say to stock up on food, canned goods, and stuff like this. I would say... To please buy weapons, whatever you can. Buy weapons, it, it's just intelligent to. You know? Buy weapons, there's nothing wrong with arming yourself. There's nothing wrong with having canned goods in your home. There's nothing wrong with buying a lot of water. There's nothing wrong with saving up for a calamity or a situation that may occur in the near upcoming future. There is nothing wrong with that. They want to block out the Aurora Borealis, but that's not going to work. That energy was meant for this planet. And that's why it's only in where, where, where you see Antarctica or whatever the case may be. That's why you guys only see it in that area because for the most part, there's no so-called peoples of carbon in that area. So they try to block out the energy as much as possible with their spells and try to put it on that side of the planet. This energy, this energy is, 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 is fighting back and is saying hell no and it's trying to spread itself across the planet and there's nothing that they can do. This energy, this, this dark matter primordial energy will make its way to its owners and the, uh, the rulers over the forces of darkness will rule the galaxies once again. Try to find yourselves, people. Try to try to connect your to, to that darkness that's within. Start meditating a lot more now. Start trying to see what we're talking about. Start meditating. Try. It will greatly help you out in the end. You're adding more energy to your soul body, which is good for you in war. You have to prepare yourselves, people. In the end, we will prevail. We will once again re 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 realign ourselves with the cosmos. And we will become the rulers of the darkness of this world. We will then... become the ones that are supposed to be meant to be in control 
of all of the governing systems across the galaxies because we are the owners of all the worlds we are the fashioners and the makers and the creators of all that exists out here and if we're messed up what are the other beings in the cosmos going to do when they're being attacked and don't have any backup? Do you see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Not This information is not meant for everyone. It's, it's, it's truly not meant for everyone. Not everyone's going to get it. This year is going to be the game changer of everything. Prepare yourselves, people. You're starting to see them already talking about World War Three and warring and all this other stuff. The 2020 just hit and they're already talking about this. That's because something's happening right now. And you can't see it because you're not on the other side of the earth right now. You have, search it up, Iran or Iranian military fighting against UFO or whatever the case may be. You will see them trying to shoot this UFO down. It's already on YouTube. You can find this. It's not hard to find. Stuff is leaking like crazy out on YouTube now. This stuff is not hard to find, guys. The truth is out there. You guys have to just be very, very witty and be very smart and intuitive and know how to find things properly. I might even leave, leave a link below. Who knows? All right. This is your boy, Sirius Inner Temple, Spiritual Network. I'm signing off, and um, you guys have a good night. The video may not have been two hours, but I think it's, it's long enough. It's about an hour and some change. I think it's long enough, honestly. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to leave you guys off with that. And make sure to know that there is no need to be afraid of this war. Be happy that this is happening. This proves everything I've been saying for the longest of time. That eventually, when your World War Three kicks off, it will be the end and the destruction of this chaotic evil death worshiping garbage beast uh, 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 belittling system that we're little uh, that we're dealing with now all this system has done is aid and abiding by destroying our people by every damn way every damn way possible all right and and it's, it's sickening and I'm sick of it and it has to go and it has to end this madness has to stop this is serious in the temple I'm out, you guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll be back with another video soon enough. And uh, take care of yourselves, guys. Good night. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. And also, for the naysayers, a lot of people are talking and don't believe that this thing is going on and that it's going to happen and war, war is going to start and all this other stuff. And they don't understand. Your World War Three is literally the end of this system. It cannot survive a World War Three. Trust me. This is a galactic war we're talking about. We're talking about all the beings that were involved in this shit from the very beginning coming back to end it. All that crap that happened in your 1500s, we're going to come back now and we're going to and we're going to end this bullshit. Do you understand? You have many of beings that came online and tried to tell you about this 2020 shit. It's the end. Y'all gonna see now. You're gonna see if this is a joke. We're gonna see, you know. We're gonna see. I'm telling you. You won't be laughing then. You won't be laughing then. It's a wrap for this nonsense. And God damn it, it's a good thing too. This world has made me very sick and tired. You know, it's the constant, it's, it's the constant crap of this world, man. How beautiful this world is, and how much they want to destroy it so badly. All the deforestation, all the, I mean, look, look at look at what this cold weather is doing. It's killing nature. They gotta go. Period. Point blank. The beings that were originally evolved in this situation the first time when the war started will be the ones to end it along with the ones that are here currently in the present time today this is your boy Sirius in the temple spiritual network i'm out of here guys take care of yourselves
And uh, all right, on to the next one. Serious out. Take care, guys. Goodbye.